All right, y'all. So today we're going to do a little quick lesson on how to string a Fessenden um, and how I like to string my guitars. So first thing, I'm going to use my string winder, and I'm just going to take all 10 strings off. All right. Well, it doesn't matter which way you start. I usually start from the tarp, start from the top down. And even more. And all right. I can probably pull this one out now. All right, I'm just going to wind this into a little circle so I don't step on it and it pokes me. And we'll set that out of the way. All right, nine more to go, and I will be right back. Okay, we got one more string to go. I figured this would be a good time to mention. Uh, the reason I like to take all 10 strings off at the same time is it gives me a chance to uh, clean the guitar. You know, I live in the desert, um, so I, I need to lube my guitar pretty regularly. It gets real dusty. Um, you might be able to see there's just a lot of grime on the pickup and on the fretboard. Um, so we're going to wipe, after I get this last string off, we're going to wipe down the guitar a little bit and uh, lube it up, and then we'll start getting the strings back on. So we got one more string to go. Um, yeah, so we're going to clean like all the roller pins, make sure those are sliding nice and easy. And I'm going to go grab, so I'm just going to get a paper towel. Um, just lightly lightly soak it just get it a little damp and we'll wipe it down um, the main thing is we just don't want to wipe it down with anything that's going to leave a film so i'm going to go get a couple paper towels and i'll be right back okay i got just a tiny bit of water on this one i'm just gonna wipe that fretboard down i'm going to uh gonna get the roller pins just a little bit and we're gonna wipe up the old oil and get some new oil on there around here always gets real real dirty all right um, make sure to get that nice and dry So, um, if I'm being lazy, I'll just run the paper towel through the roller pins, kind of get up some of that dirt. Um, if I'm feeling a bit more ambitious, I'll just go ahead and pull it out, right? Um, that way I can really work in the grooves there. Hopefully you can see just some of that dirt I'm pulling out, especially on the, uh, on the pin itself. All right, so we want to we want to get rid of that every now and then, just so it's not holding up the uh, the rollers. Um, now with the Fessenden, the uh, rollers are all the same size, so if you take them off, you don't have to worry about putting them back on in a certain order. Um, I know some of the real fancy guitars have uh, pins that are measured for the string gauge. Um, so that's why this is a video specifically about string and Fessenden. All we're worrying about is just getting some of that dirt off, and you can probably see that it's probably good to go at this point. Uh, it's dry, and we'll get some new oil on there. Alright. Um, you can also try to get some of the dirt that's just left behind after you take the pin out. That's a little bit of a pain getting them back in there because they like to stick together. Cool. All right, we got it back in. Um, another place that collects a lot of dirt is in, in the 
change your fingers. Um, we're not going to really mess with that too much, but we'll drop some, uh, some lube down there. So let's go ahead and do that. So I've got my TriFlow. Um, it doesn't have any binding agents. That's the most important thing. Something like WD-40 is going to screw up your guitar because it's got uh, that gunk in there that'll jam up your changer. Um, I don't know where my little straw went, but it should be okay. So I'm just going to get the pin and then the rollers themselves. Alright, and then I'm going to get the uh, changer. And then I'm going to let gravity do its job before I uh, string it again. So we'll give that a couple minutes and uh, I will be back. Okay, so while we're letting that lube get in there, I'm going to show you the changer end of a fessenden. You can see these little points, right, sticking out of each changer finger. So that's where the, uh, the ball end of the string is going to go. It's going to just hook on that and come over the top. Um, so that's, I don't know if all fessendens are like that. I had a, another fessenden many years ago and I can't quite remember. Um, so these um, hex screws back here, these are for the split tuning. So you can see I've got split tuning on two, that's for the double stop lower on uh, five and six. And then on 9, right, that's the one that goes along with 2 for the double stop, and 10, right? Um, so my split tuning, um, I use um, the B pedal and the lower to get a, a dominant 7th tone on the 6th string. And then I have a 5th uh, a string, of course the whole step raise, and then a 5th string half step lower. With the split tuning, I get a half step raise. Okay, let's uh, get the strings out. Okay, so I got my strings. Again, I like to start from the top, but it doesn't really matter. Um, let's see, I need the silver and purple first. Where are you? Silver and purple. Um, okay, so I'm gonna unwind. I'm gonna grab the silver string first. Set the purple one aside. Okay, so like I showed you earlier, I got the ball end. And I'm gonna hook it around that little knob that was sticking out. Um, so if your guitar is old, it's probably gonna have grooves in the changer fingers. We're just gonna run it right along in that groove. Um, Cause that's, that's where it wants to be, you know? So there's no point in trying to force it somewhere else. We just wanna make sure it's nice and in the middle all right, so here's the uh, the tuning key for the first string. I'm gonna take it all the way two tuning keys up. So I'm gonna take it to the third tuning key. All right, so I'm gonna bend it there, and that's where I'm gonna snip the tip off. <laughs> uh, that's that's where I'm gonna cut it. All right, boom. Okay, so after I. Uh, now you can see it's already kind of bent here, so when I hook it back in, I want to keep going that same direction. Do my best to preserve the integrity of the string as I'm stringing it. So I'm going to bend the tip um, about a centimeter, centimeter and a half. And hopefully you can see, not, not super long. Hook that back in here. This is the pain about fessies is sometimes those little knobs don't want to hold the ball joint in place. All right, so I'm going to feed that little bend through. I'm going to pull some tension onto it. All right, so I got a finger keeping it in the uh, tuning key, and then I'm using my thumb to pull some tension, and I'm going to start winding it. All right, so once I get that first wind in, now I don't have to worry so much about holding it in, the string and the tuning key. Okay, 
So you can see that this, um, this roller is further towards you than the whole of the tuning key. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do one wind on the outside. And then I'm going to cross it over and get a wind and then finish winding it on the inside. So if you can't really see from that perspective, we're going to do another up close. And then I'm just going to keep winding it until first thing I'm going to feel is that the changer, when I take the strings off, right, the changer finger relaxes. Once I start adding tension onto the string, first thing I'm going to feel is that changer finger um, pull back into a tension position. All right, then after that, I'm just going to keep winding it. Right until I get about there. I don't want to overwind it and, you know, risk snapping the string. All right, you can hear that's not tight enough, so I'll go ahead and pull some tension into it. Again, keep winding. Yeah, that's sounding pretty good. Let me grab my tuner. C sharp, D, and we're going to get it all the way up to F sharp. Cool. So we're done with the first string. Um, let's go ahead and get that second string out and we'll adjust the uh, camera angle so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm hooking in the, uh, the second string. Uh, we're going to measure it. So it's going to this tuning key. So we're going to cut it two tuning keys ahead right there. Boom. Okay. Got it hooked back in. We're going to get a little bend in there okay we got it in there so again we're gonna pull some tension make sure the strings lined up we're gonna start to wind it okay now here's what I'm talking about so you can see I can either where the tip is sticking out I can either wind it on this side or on this side so you can see this roller pin is on the inside of the hole so we're going to start on the opposite, All right? So you can see the string is on the outside. We'll get a twist there. And when I start to see the hole coming back around, I'm going to move it over to the other side. So now you can see that it's being wound on the inside of the hole. And now you can see, right, so it's kind of hugging that little tip of the string with a wrap on the outside and a wrap on the inside. So we'll go ahead and finish wrapping it up. Again, keeping tension on the string. Get it in the roller pin. I always like to double check that the, uh, the ball end's still pushed in all the way and it's still lined up on the changer finger. Pull that into tune. D sharp. Cool. So that's in tune. Now that that's in tune, I'm going to go back and check the first string because it will have slid out of tune now with this added tension. Not a ton yet. All right, so you can see with that method that the string from the from the roller has a nice straight line to the uh, tuning key, right? So if I had wrapped it on the outside, right, it would have had a little turn into it. Um, 
which can um, add some issues with uh, with tuning and cabinet drop and all that. Um, so we want to do our best to get that string lined up, and that's why on these we're wrapping on the inside. And as we get further in, we're going to start wrapping on the outside, right? Because now there's going to be more of an angle from the roller pin. Um, let me get a couple more strings on, and I will get back to you. Okay, so I'm ready to cut this fifth string, and of course there's not more tuning keys back here, so just, you know, kind of visualize it. I'm going to want it about there. Let's get it cut. Get the bend in. Okay, so those first two, right, we wrapped on the inside. And I, I, you know, I've had this guitar so long, I know that these two I'm gonna wrap on the inside, these three, right, I'm gonna wrap on the outside. But I just wanted to show you kind of what that looks like. All right, let me get, get that first spin into it. Okay. So if I wrapped it, on the inside, the uh, it would go from the roller, and then it would have to cut in to get on the inside. Right? So I'm going to do that first wrap on the inside. Right? So it's coming around, and now I'm going to cross it to the outside. And that way it has a straight line. Right? once we get full tension on the string. And then always just making sure that it's not, they're not like lumped on top of each other. If you're doing it like this, it shouldn't be an issue. Okay, right, so it touched the roller pin, so I'll do the rest by hand now. You can see it's got a nice straight line. But if it was on the inside, how it would have to curve across and diagonal. We don't want that. All right, so we'll bring it to pitch. Oops, I overdid it. Okay, then we'll bring the others back up to tune. So we're just going to keep going down, right? And I know that um, I know that these three will be on the outside. These two will be on the inside. Um, and I will check back in with you to wrap up. Okay, so I know I'm being a bit redundant, but if it's your first time stringing like this and you don't know which way to to string to loop it, right? So I got it hooked in. I'm just going to lay it in the bell end and pull it straight, right? All right, it's in the roller, so now I'm going to stand over and look at it and just kind of judge, right? So if I'm wrapping it on the outside, it'll be kind of like that. If I wrap it on the inside, see, it didn't like that. It popped out of the roller pin. It didn't like being on the inside. You see how that angle's there? So that means I'm going to want it on the outside. All right, and we'll just use the same string. It doesn't matter. Um, say this were the tenth string. All right. I'm going to loop it through there, right? So this one, it's pretty obvious. It needs to be on the inside. If it was on the outside, it would have to be like that, right? So we want whatever is the least amount of uh, angle. Cool. Hope that, uh, hope that makes that clear. All right, so you can join me for this last string, a little wrap-up. My tenth string is actually the hardest. Because uh, for some reason that little hook on the changer is shorter than all the others. Well, let's try to we'll try to get it first first shot. All right. Ah, it fell out. There we go. Should be okay. We're still okay. Okay. So we already know we want to wrap it on the inside, right? So we're going to get that first turn 
on the outside. All right. So now that it's come the full 180, let's get it on the inside now. And then we'll finish wrapping it on the inside. All right. So we're on one wrap on the outside, one wrap on the inside, and then we'll finish it up on the inside. Get it in the roller. And I hope I didn't overdo that. Oh man, almost perfect. Just a tiny bit too much. Okay, so then uh, we'll bring everything else back up to tune. So unlike six string guitar, you don't you don't really need to like stretch the strings out a bunch when you first string it. After we string it, we're just gonna let everything fall out of tune and then just spend, be patient, bringing everything back up to tune. All right, so by the time you get the next string on, it's time to retune the last one and so on. Okay, so it's nice and clean for the most part. Got our strings on with nice straight lines. And let's go check out uh, the other end. All right, so last thing we want to make sure of is that all the strings are lined up in their grooves nice and straight. And then we want to make sure that all the ball ends are pushed all the way in, right? Sometimes when you're bringing it to tension, they'll want to act like they uh, want to jump off. But it looks like they're all pushed in all the way. So we're all set. That's how to string the fastened in. Of course, it's uh, you know has a key head. Um, pretty straightforward guitar to string. And uh, about half an hour once, once you know what you're doing. I'll see y'all later.